The Trinity, Church of England, Voluntary Aided Primary School, Quakers Walk, Devizes, was designed in 2010 by talented architect Neil Beasley of the Genesis Design Studio as a one-form entry primary school with seven classrooms for up to 210 pupils, with the opportunity for future expansion with a further four classrooms to make a one and a half form entry school of 11 classrooms for up to 315 pupils. The seven initial classrooms would consist of rooms for reception, year one and year two for infants, and years three, four, five and six for juniors. There would also be a double height creative arts music room, an air-conditioned ICT computer suite, various tutorial group rooms, an open plan double height library, a multifunction hall for assemblies, gymnasium use and dining, a commercial standard kitchen, an administration office suite with a meeting room and kitchenette, a staff room on the first floor and various storerooms throughout. All the communal and ancillary spaces were designed and future-proofed in size for the final one and a half form entry school. Outside there would be a designated early years play area, an informal hard play area, a multi-use games area or MUGA, an informal soft play area, areas for wetland and wildlife study, a large grass playing field for football. The site was a very tight tapered shape. The building was therefore carefully articulated by means of a curved ended giant wedge to overcome the tapered site. This would contain the library to separate the main two-story building from the single-story hall building which would have the kitchen and plant rooms on one side and the reception and year one classrooms on the other. Underfloor heating would be powered by a gas boiler and two air source heat pumps on the library roof with space available for a third. The classrooms would be naturally ventilated, automatically controlled by the temperature and carbon dioxide sensors linked to the computerized building management system. This would include tall stack effect ventilation shafts for extract air. These shafts would be expressed as large chimneys along the skyline to the two-story building. The project was partly paid for by the Salisbury Diocese Board of Education and partly by Persimmon Homes through a 106 agreement planning gain. The school was built by R.G. Spiller, building contractor between February 2011 and March 2012. The site manager was Dave Allen. The contract administrator and project architect was Gordon Shekel of the Genesis Design Studio. Before the building works were to commence, a preliminary site visit took place involving a site walkabout, an inspection of the perimeter and an inspection of the incoming services and drainage. The contractor has taken possession of the site, erected perimeter fencing and the site cabins. Work has started on site with the digging and installation of land drains. Off site, orders have been placed with a specialist concrete contractor 
and formwork fabrication drawings have been prepared. Also, orders have been placed for steelwork, and fabrication drawings are about halfway through. Week 5. The site has been set up by the contractor. Levels have been reduced for the formation of the temporary road entrance. The building has been set out, the foundations are being dug and internal drainage and service ducts are being installed. Off-site, specialist concrete contractors' formwork design drawings have been approved and manufacture of the formwork is halfway through. Also, working drawings for the precast concrete is about a third the way through. The steelwork contractor has prepared his fabrication drawings which have been approved. Steelwork manufacture is about halfway through. Week 9. The reinforced concrete substructures are about 90% complete, together with the installation of internal drainage and service ducts. The sub-base formation is progressing well. Off-site, orders have been placed with the precast concrete floor plank manufacturer, who has completed his working drawings, which are now being considered for approval. The steelwork manufacture off-site is virtually complete. Orders have also been placed with the roofing contractor, who has started to prepare his fabrication drawings for the various areas of pitched slate roofing and single-ply flat roofing. Also, external works have started. Week 11. The reinforced concrete ground floor slabs are now about halfway through. Off-site, precast concrete floor planks and staircases are being manufactured. Also, the manufacture of the steel framework has been completed and is ready for delivery when the site is ready. The roofing fabrication drawings are nearly complete and will be sent to the architect for approval. Week 13. The reinforced concrete ground floor slabs are now nearly complete. Off-site, precast concrete floor planks and staircases are being manufactured. Orders have been placed with the zinc roofing subcontractor who has started his working drawings. Also, the manufacture of the steel framework has been completed and is ready for delivery when the site is ready. 
Orders have been placed for the Velfac composite windows and doors and fabrication drawings have started. Lastly, the roofing fabrication drawings are ready for approval by the architect. Week 17. The ground floor slabs have now been completed. The reinforced concrete walls up to first floor level are nearly complete, together with the formation of the masonry superstructure. The passive ventilation turret frames have been formed. The steel frame has been erected and external works continue. Off-site, the first floor pre-cast concrete planks and staircases have been manufactured and are ready for delivery. Orders have been placed with a zinc roofing subcontractor who has completed his working drawings which are now being approved. Orders have been placed for the Velfac composite windows and doors and fabrication drawings are halfway through. Also off-site, orders have been placed with the glue laminated beam contractor who has prepared his fabrication drawings which were approved and manufacture off-site has commenced. The general roofing fabrication drawings have been completed and approved and materials for the roofing are being procured. Also off-site, orders have been placed with the mechanical and electrical subcontractors who are now halfway through their fabrication drawings. Week 20. The placement of steelwork continues. The precast concrete staircase has been installed. The formation of the first floor concrete slab is progressing. The masonry superstructure to the hall, classrooms and kitchen have now commenced and the external works continue. Off-site, following the approval of the zinc roofing installation drawings, materials are now being procured. Installation drawings for the doors and windows are virtually complete. The glue lamp beams have now been completed off-site. The general roofing materials have now been procured and are ready for installation. Mechanical and electrical installation drawings are virtually complete and ready for submission to the consultants for approval. Week 22 the placement of steelwork continues. The reinforced concrete walls up to roof level are now about halfway through. The masonry superstructure to the hall, classrooms and kitchen is about halfway through. The glue lamp beams have been delivered to site and are ready for installation and the external works continue. Off-site, the procurement of zinc roofing is about halfway through. The window and door installation drawings are now being approved and the mechanical and electrical installation drawings have been commented on. Week 25. 
The placement of steelwork continues. The formation of the reinforced concrete walls up to roof level has been completed. The formation of the first floor reinforced concrete slab to the library is virtually complete. The masonry superstructure at first floor level has commenced and the masonry superstructure to the hall, classrooms and kitchen is virtually complete as well as the low level roof structures. Off site, the zinc roofing material has been procured and is ready for delivery to site. The external doors and windows by Velfac are now being manufactured off-site. The mechanical and electrical installation drawings have been approved and materials are being procured. Week 26. The masonry superstructure continues. The placement of steelwork continues. The masonry superstructure up to roof level has been completed. The formation of the roof structure, including the SIPS panels, is about halfway through. The formation of the passive ventilation turrets is about 30% progressed. The external Velfac doors and windows have now been manufactured, ready for installation. The high level roofing is now being covered and the formation of the low level flat roofs have commenced including flat roof coverings. The first fix mechanical and electrical installations have commenced and first fix carpentry is progressing. Outside the external works continue. Week 34. The placement of steelwork continues. The formation of the SIPS roofing is virtually complete. The formation of the passive ventilation turrets continues. The zinc roofing has now been installed over the flank rooms to the hall, i.e. kitchens, reception and year one classrooms. The external wall rendering is about to commence. The low-level roofs have been covered with zinc sheeting. The formation of the low-level flat roofs is virtually complete. The flat roof installations are about halfway through and the first fix mechanical and electrical installations are progressing well together with the first fix carpentry. The placement of steelwork is now virtually complete. The formation of the passive ventilation turrets continues. The work to the slate roofs is starting. The external sand cement rendering has started. The flat roof coverings is progressing 
and the first fix mechanical and electrical installations continue together with the first fix carpentry. Week 39. The passive ventilation turrets formation has been completed. The zinc roofing is now being installed, including to the turrets. The slate roofing work has been completed. The single ply flat roofing has been installed over the toilets, group rooms, stores and over the library. The installation of the external doors and windows is about halfway through. The external sand cement rendering is also about halfway through. The flat roof installations are complete. The first fix mechanical and electrical installations continue together with the first fix carpentry work. The underfloor insulation has commenced together with the underfloor heating pipe work and screening and the internal plaster work has commenced. Week 41. The zinc roofing progresses well, including the cladding to the ventilation turrets. The flat roofing continues. The installation of doors and windows and the external wall rendering continue. The first fix mechanical and electrical installations continue, together with the first fix carpentry. The underfloor insulation, underfloor heating pipework, floor screen and wall plastering continue. Yeah, you were talking about that, you need to, I'll try to run your train, which is what exactly it was. Week 43. The zinc roofing and cladding is now complete, together with the flat roofing. The installation of external doors and windows continues, together with the external wall rendering. The first fix mechanical and electrical work, first fix carpentry, the underfloor heating, floor screening and wall plastering continue. Also, the painting and decorating has commenced. Week 52. The site has been revisited after a couple of months, including the Christmas period. Sadly, the project architect, Gordon Chappell, has been seconded to another practice due to a downturn of work. The Velfac external doors and windows and external wall rendering have been completed. The painting and decorating is now more than halfway through. The second fixed carpentry 
including the internal doors, is halfway through. The second fix, mechanical and electrical engineering installation works, are more than halfway through, including works to the plant room. The suspended ceilings have been installed, the floor coverings have commenced, and the external works continue. Delays have occurred with the lack of the electricity supply. However, the works are now complete, ready for handover to the client. Painting and decorating, mechanical and electrical installation works have now been completed and tested. The acoustic wall panels have been installed. Floor coverings have been completed. Air pressure tests have been carried out and the building has passed. All fire precaution works have been tested commissioned and certified, and the building has been thoroughly de-snagged. The building has been thoroughly cleaned, and the entire site has been cleared, ready for use by the school. Situated on the housing estate of Quakers Walk, the school is a focal point for the local community. The name, the Trinity School, was to reflect the three Church of England parishes in Devizes linked to the school. St. James, St. John's with St. Mary's, and St. Peter's. The new school was officially opened and dedicated by the Bishop of Salisbury, the Right Reverend Nicholas Holtham, on Friday the 22nd of June 2012. It was the first new school in Devizes in almost a decade. Bishop Nicholas said, The whole community is gathered here today for the official opening of the Trinity School which embodies symbols of the parishes St. James, St. John's with St. Mary's and St. Peter's. The name works really well as it represents not just the three churches, but the Holy Trinity itself, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bishop Nicholas unveiled the foundation stone plaque outside to the sound of handbells and the singing of the school's own Trinity hymn. He was then welcomed into the hall by a guard of honor consisting of three school classes.